that they cannot account for as our spotlight will be exposing a new criminal mode of drug concealment, while the Risk In It All segment will be highlighting the exploits of the agency against another drug baron. News highlights, executive summary, weather updates, are other companion segments that will come your way if you remain with us till the end of the program. On the news highlights for this week's episode of NDLEA Today. Maru appreciates National Assembly for support on drug war. NDLEA nabs another drug baron. Swakoto village head 10 others arrested over 991,320 opioid pills, 1,251 kilograms of skunk. The village head of Gida Aba in Bodinga local government area of Sokoto state, Abubakar Ibrahim, was among 11 suspects arrested in interdiction operations in which 991,320 pills of pharmaceutical opioids and 1,251 kilograms of cannabis and cut, as well as 46.637 kilograms of meth, cocaine and heroin were recovered by operatives of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency NDLEA across seven states. At the Mutlala Mohammed International Airport, Ikeja, Lagos, NDLEA operatives attached to the SACO import shed on Wednesday, 26 October, intercepted a total of 15 cartons containing 802,000 pills of tramadol imported from Dubai, UAE, and Karachi, Pakistan. While 10 cartons of tramadol 225 mg came in from Dubai on Ethiopian airline flight, 4 cartons of 100 mg and a carton of 225 mg of tramadol came from Karachi, Pakistan on another Ethiopian airline flight. Two days after, Friday 28th October, operatives attached to the Narco import shed of the Lagos airport seized five cartons of dried cut leaves weighing 107.70 kilograms that came in from Bangkok, Thailand through Dubai on an Emirates airline flight. A follow-up operation on the seizure of 11.90 kilograms of meth concealed in the heads of dried fish going to Dubai, UAE on 5th August has led to the arrest of a 30-year-old bricklayer, Babatunde Kadiri, on Thursday, 27th October in Sangota area of Ungu State, in collaboration with the men of the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, NSCDC, in the area. In the same vein, a 27-year-old Madu Chukwe Maker Miracle has been arrested by operatives at the Akanui Biam International Airport, Enugu, on arrival from Nairobi, Kenya via Addis Ababa, Ethiopia on Wednesday, 26 October. A search of his three bags revealed 76 foreign bathing soaps made with cocaine in one of the bags, while another had two plastic bottles containing cream-like liquid which tested positive to cocaine. The cocaine bars weighed 10.650 kilograms, while the liquid cocaine weighed 2.496 kilograms, bringing the total weight to 13.146 kilograms. In Kogi State, NDLEA operatives on stop and search operation along Okene Abuja Highway on Thursday, 27th October, intercepted a Chisco branded bus coming from Lagos to Abuja with a consignment of 32.9 kilograms of mirth packaged as tubers of yams. 376 grams of cocaine and 215 grams of heroin. While the bus driver, Chief Pascal Chigozi Maram, was promptly arrested, a follow-up operation in Abuja same day led to the arrest of the recipient of the illicit cargo 
Mr. Iken Jude Akude, who confessed he was detailed to travel with a consignment to Spain the following day, Friday, 28th October, through the Namdi Azikiwe International Airport, Abuja. Meanwhile, operatives of the state command of the agency have destroyed five hectares of cannabis farms at Agmokete, Iyaya Kam, Igalamela, Odolu local government area, where a suspect, Augustine Agbeyo, was arrested with three sacks of both fresh and dry leaves and stems of the illicit substance. While operatives seized 146,000 pills of tramadol 225 milligram in a buy and bust operation on Osho, the area of Lagos State on Tuesday, 25th October, the village head of Gidon Aba village in Budinga local government area of Sokoto State, Abubakar Ibrahim, was arrested in Budinga town same day with 3 kilograms of cannabis sativa and 4,000 tablets of Exo 5. In the FCT, operatives of patrol along Kwali Abuja Highway on Monday, 24th October, intercepted a truck with 915.8 kilograms of cannabis and arrested three suspects, Kabiru Ibrahim, Mohamed Mwawi, and Adamu Adamu. In Adamawa State, operatives arrested two trans border traffickers, Abdullahi Mamuda, aka Mama, and Aliyu Abdullahi, aka Gaga, at Skylight Hotel in Jambutu, Yola North. A search of their vehicle, an ash colored Toyota Corolla car with registration number JMT 146TE Adamawa, revealed 39,320 tablets of Tramadol 225 mg concealed in different compartments of the doors of the car. Preliminary investigation shows the trans border traffickers took off from Onisha in Anambra state and traveled to Jimeta, Adamawa state, where they lodged in a hotel before heading to Belel, a town along the Nigerian Cameroon border, where they will repackage the drugs as ordinary consumables and ferry across the river to Cameroon. Reacting to the strings of arrests and seizures in the past week across Kogi, Lagos, Sokoto, Adamawa, Undo, and the FCT, as well as the MMIA and AIIA commands of the agency, Chairman Chief Executive of the NDLEA, Brigadier General Mohamed Buba Marwa, retired CONOFR, commended the officers and men of the various commands for their unrelenting commitment to the presidential mandate to clear Nigerian forests and communities of illicit drugs in whatever form. He charged them to remain steadfast and upright at all times. The Chairman Chief Executive of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, Brigadier General Mohamed Buba Mara, retired, has extended the appreciation of the NDLEA to the National Assembly for the tremendous support and cooperation given to the agency in the pursuit of its mandate of ridding the nation of the harmful effects of illicit drugs. The NDLEA boss expressed this gratitude when he led the agency's top officials to the National Assembly to defend the NDLEA 2023 budget before the House Committee on Drug and Narcotics at the National Assembly Complex. According to Marwa, the robust working relationship between the committee and the NDLEA has been pivotal to the successes recorded so far by the organization. In his response, the chairman of the committee, Honorable Francis Ota Agbo, assured the NDLEA of the committee's support since they are very proud of its achievements so far. The National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, on Friday, October 26, arrested another drug baron, Udemezwe Obuni K. William, at the Namdi Azikiwe International Airport, Abuja, on his return from Brazil. His arrest with the support of the Nigeria Immigration Service followed the earlier arrest of some drug couriers linked to Udemezwe as their sponsor. They include two males, Messrs. Adolphus Anayo Chuku Okeke and Anayo Maikan Nana. The 52-year-old father of four children who claimed to be a businessman, Okeke Adolphus Anayo Chuku, was arrested at the Abuja airport by NDLEA operatives with 20.75 kilograms of black liquid cocaine on Tuesday 15th March upon his arrival on board Qatar Airways flight from Sao Paulo, Brazil through Doha, Qatar to Abuja. The liquid was discovered upon search of his luggage stuffed with six smaller bags containing 32 makeup mascara with tested positive to cocaine. 
On the other hand, the Brazilian returnee Nana Anayo Michael was arrested at the Port Harcourt International Airport during the inward screening of the passengers on board Qatar Airline flight from Sao Paulo, Brazil via Doha to Port Harcourt on Tuesday, 29th March. Nana was arrested with 73 sachets weighing 8.1 five kilograms of cocaine which is the largest seizure of sorts at the airport since it began international flight operations years ago Further investigations of the two traffickers revealed Udemez Rio Bunike William as the drug baron behind the cocaine cartel. As a result, he was watchlisted and arrested upon his return from Brazil on Friday, 28th October. In his reaction, Chairman Chief Executive of the NDLEA, Brigadier General Mohamed Buba Mara retired, CONOFR, commended the officers and men of the agency involved in the clinical investigation that led to the unmasking of the two barons. He said gone are the days when drug kingpins can hide behind traffickers and remain faceless, warning that the new NDLEA will continue to unravel them one after the other if they fail to back out of the criminal trade. Chairman Chief Executive of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, Brigadier General Mohamed Buba Marwa, retired, has disclosed that the agency had frozen about 600 drug related accounts in recent months, in addition to other humongous seizures and arrests recorded so far by the agency. Marwa made the disclosure when he led the leadership of the agency to receive the Senate Committee on Drug and Narcotics and Oversight Function at the agency's headquarters. The NTLEA boss revealed that the agency had recorded some remarkable breakthroughs, including the seizure of over 190 billion naira worth of cocaine in Lagos about two months ago. He further stated that the agency is better placed now to discharge its responsibilities following the agreement it has entered into with the Interpol, which now grants the NDLEA access to the database of criminals across the globe. He went further to thank the committee for its continuous support to the drug war. In his response, the Chairman Senate Committee on Drugs and Narcotics, Senator Hezekiah Ayuba Dimka, applauded the agency for its exploits so far, while reiterating the commitment of its committee to further assist the NDLEA whenever the need arises. The committee later inspected the level of work at the agency's permanent headquarters. Yes, it's true. Drugs are a vice in our society, costing lives and huge economic losses. But the story is not the same because the game has changed. It's a red card for drugs in Nigeria. There is a new sheriff in town. Brigadier General Mohamed Buba Marwa is moving hard and fast with full speed and precision to rid the country of the drug scourge. NDLEA Today is a program that gives you a front seat in understanding the highs and lows, the laws of drug enforcement in the country. Join us every Monday from half past 5 to 6 p.m. on the network service of the NTA, Africa's largest TV network. NDLEA Today. Don't miss it. The need to take personal responsibility for our luggage during our trips has become more imperative due to the pervasive nature of illicit drug business. Apart from the need to be vigilant on every trip so that drug dealers do not compromise our personal effect, we should equally be sure of any package being sent through us. Greater caution is however needed in the area of luggage or consignment that we receive or deliver for other people in the course of our journey. Recent discovery by the NDLEA on new modus operandi for drug concealment, according to Femi Baba Femi, the agency's spokesperson, 
the recent discovery of illicit drugs in cans of tomato paste going to the United Kingdom, a thorough search of consignment revealed that the tomato cans were used to conceal 36 pellets of cannabis with a gross weight of 21.30 kg. The discovery, which was made by operatives of the NDLEA at Mutala Mohammed International Airport, Lagos, had made the agency to advise all travelers not to take any luggage on consignment, not packed in their presence, or that they have not thoroughly dismantled or searched from anyone to take abroad. Meanwhile, a cargo agent, Shudeide Akinwale, has been arrested in connection with the seizure. The National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, has declared wanted a Lagos socialite and owner of Adeka's Hotels, Alhaji Ademola Afolabi Kazim, aka Alhaji Abdallah Kazim Mohammed, over offenses bordering on exportation and trafficking of illicit drugs as well as money laundering. The decision to declare the suspect wanted followed his failure to honor NDLEA's invitations and an order granted the agency by the Federal High Court in Lagos on Monday, 17th October 2022. The wanted drug kingpin was uncovered as the sponsor of some traffickers arrested by the Anti-Narcotics Agency in their recent attempt to export cocaine to Dubai, UAE and other destinations outside Nigeria. Soon after the arrest of one of his moles, Bolujoko Muyuwa Babalola, a Lagos BRT driver, on 27th June at the Murutala Mohammed International Airport MMIA Ikeja, Alaji Ademola Kazim, who is also the chairman of Adeka's Global Integrated Services, went underground. Following his failure to honor invitations sent to him, the agency approached a federal high court in Lagos with the three prayers to attach and seal his identified properties in Lagos and Ibadan declare him wanted and block his bank account with a cash balance of 217 million naira, all of which were granted. As a result, NDLEA operatives on Wednesday, 26 October 2022, sealed six of the identified properties located on Lagos Island. Like we usually warn every week on Risking It All, you risk losing everything, including your freedom to the drug trade. Be warned. Be wise. Okay. 
forget oh, make we no forget oh. Go take the key to say. Drug Law Enforcement Agency NDLEA. On Monday, the 24th of October, Katina State First Lady Hadia Hadiza Belo Masari visited clients undergoing treatment at the Counseling and Rehabilitation Center at the State Command of NDLEA, along with the State Chief Judge, Honorable Justice Abdullahi Danladi. Monday 24th October, River State Command of NDLEA takes WADA advocacy campaign to Finima Junior Secondary School, Boney Island. On Thursday 27th October, Eboin State Command of NDLEA takes WADA sensitization lecture to Eboin State University Secondary School, Abakaliki. Friday 28th October, Kaduna State Command of NDLEA in WADA Sensitization Lecture at Government Secondary School, Kavanchan. Saturday 29th October, Ekiti State Command of NDLEA lectures members of the State Butchers Association on dangers of illicit drug abuse during the WADA Sensitization Outreach. that the use of a prescription medicine in a way not intended by the prescriber is called prescription drug abuse. Prescription drug abuse, also called prescription drug misuse, includes everything from taking a friend's prescription painkiller for your backache to snorting or injecting ground up pills to get high. Prescription drug abuse may become ongoing and compulsive despite the negative consequences. The prescription drug most often misused include opioid painkillers, anti-anxiety medicines, sedatives and stimulants. Early identification of prescription drug abuse and early intervention may prevent the problem from turning into an addiction. Do you know that an alcohol or drug relapse is a recurrence of symptoms of the disease after a period of short or long-term recovery? Like any chronic disease, drug and alcohol addiction are subject to periods of remission and relapse. During the recovery process, individuals may be exposed to certain triggers and other risk factors that increase the risk of returning to active addictions to drugs and or alcohol. While relapses can happen and are common, they are not inevitable. Following drug relapse, taking action early and employing relapse prevention steps can reduce the likelihood of another relapse and minimize the intensity of a relapse. feedback segment today, Hamilu Abubakar from Damaturu Yobe asks, is there a link between marijuana use and psychiatric disorders? Here's your answer. Several studies have linked marijuana use to increased risk of psychiatric disorders. 
Recent research suggests that smoking marijuana could increase the chances of developing psychosis by nearly five times compared to people who have never used marijuana. In addition, marijuana stays in the brain for months, maybe longer, and users remain impaired, particularly in their thinking, problem-solving ability, and emotional health. AZ customers from Worry Delta State ask, can you explain what club drugs really mean? Here is your answer. Club drugs are a group of psychoactive drugs. They act on the central nervous system and can cause changes in mood, awareness, and behavior. These drugs are most often used by young adults at bars, concerts, nightclubs, and parties. Club drugs, like most drugs, have nicknames that change over time or are different in various areas of a country. And that's our package for this week. Please do keep a date with us next week for a refreshing episode of NDLEA Today. Until then, it's bye for now. Thank you.